On Deconstruct today, we'll talk about the Delhi Services Bill. The Government of National Capital Territory Act 2023 has been passed in Parliament. What would be its implications? Let's deconstruct. In this episode, I'll tell you what exactly is this act all about? What changes from here on and why is it important? Let's very quickly understand here that there is going to be a shift of power, a shift of governance from the elected government led by Arvind Kejriwal to the office of the Lieutenant Governor who is a nominee of the central government because the control of services the control of bureaucracy that in turn controls all important departments under the Delhi government has now gone to the LG's office. The LG's decision will be final on all matters of appointments, transfers, postings, allowances and the work. So what this means is there is a significant difference from other states where we know how it works. Once a bill is passed by the cabinet, the governor is bound to ratify it. He is bound by the decision of the cabinet of ministers. In any other state, that's how it is. Not so in Delhi. In Delhi, the LG's word will be final. Now let's get you the important facts and figures of this act. So let's put out the important aspects of the Delhi Services Act for you stands for the Government of National Capital Territory of Delhi Act. That's why in short, it's called GNCTDA Act represents a significant shift of governance in the national capital, redefines the role of the LG, the bureaucracy and the elected government, subverts the 11th May Supreme Court judgment that rested the control of services on the elected government. So the central government has actually managed to sideline observations of the top court, judgment of the top court, which rested powers on the elected government, shifted that to the LG's office through an act of parliament. Now, what changes? Let's quickly take you through the important points there. A new authority called the National Capital Services Authority or NCCSA is constituted. The NCCSA comprises of the Delhi Chief Secretary, the Principal Secretary and the Delhi Chief Minister. Transfers, posting, salary, allowances, powers and duties of officers are to be governed by central law. Even for other bodies and commissions and organizations that are governed by state laws, the NCCSA can only make recommendations in with regard to their decisions LG's decision will be final in all matters. The NCCSA can only make recommendations on subjects within its jurisdiction, barring public order, police and land. All bureaucrats are to keep a vigil on policies and proposals made by the Delhi government and report to the LG in case of any discrepancy. They can do so even while they bypass the head of the elected government, that is the chief minister. So the amendment that is done to the Delhi Services Bill obligates the secretary to bring to the notice of LG any decision that the elected government of Delhi makes if such a decision in the opinion of the concerned bureaucrat exceeds the authority vested with the government or violates any other law. So bureaucracy in Delhi now is no longer answerable to Arvind Kejriwal. This would have very important implications. And of course, this has not gone down well on the Aam Aadmi Party. The party is up in arms. The party is calling it unconstitutional. It is calling it a fraud in law. The debate continues. But in terms of whether this has been passed in parliament, the answer is yes. Whether this will now come into force, the answer is yes. Now, how will the people react to this? And how will they respond when it's time for them to vote for the party is concerned? Time will tell. Thanks for watching Deconstruct. Thank you.